Hi everyone, Charmaine here and I'm doing a product spotlight for Coco Daisy and I'm spotlighting the Faber-Castell mix and match picked artist pens and these are the green set and these are available in the Coco Daisy store they come in four colours with each pack that are coordinating colours of a, a colour um, shades. This one is a cobalt green. This one is a leaf green, a light green, and a green olive. And I just thought I would have a little play and show you some of the things that you can do with these pens. So I've got my plastic sheet and some shipping tags and I'm just simply going to rub the pen onto my plastic sheet, give it a quick spray with some water so that it pulls and makes those lovely ink droplets and then I'm taking my tags and just simply running the tag through the pulled colours and then I will do the same with the light green just running it over the plastic sheet spray with water and pulling the colour through now these, pla um, these shipping tags have, have like a plastic coating on them um, which makes them perfect for what they're used for which is luggage tags but um, it just means that the ink will sit on top rather than soak in. If you made your own shipping tags using craft paper or um, some other kind of cardstock um, it would of course soak in a little bit but if you leave that to dry you will end up with something like this. So you will get the lovely ink droplets and they're perfect for what I'm going to show you, which is getting rid of that. I'm going to use the tree stamp that um this is from Coco Daisy of course and I'm simply going to use the light green uh, pen and rub over part of the stamp and then some of the dark green over the other lines one of the wonderful things about these pens is the fact that they have a pointed nib so you can get a very thin line or use it on the side and get a lovely thick line which is great for inking up your stamps. So there the stamps all covered and I'm just going to simply stamp on a tree nice and firm to get the image that I want. Now while those limbs are looking a little bit bare, I, I'm going to use the leaf green and again just fill in part of the naked areas, give it a bit of colour. I'm using now the light green, fill in just some, not all of them. And then what I'm going to do is using my water again, give it a quick squirt and you'll notice that um, the ink is running just a little bit, it's lifted off some of the excess ink that hasn't soaked in yet. Then what I'm going to do is using the cobalt uh, green, I'm going to just go around the edge 
off my tag not particularly caring too much if I go in off the edge it's all about playing and just seeing what happens right and then I will give that another spray with the water making sure the squirt apart is facing down and not towards me and then using paper towel just soak back up the water I think I need a little bit more water over there and because the ink um, has already um, settled onto these parts of my shipping tag um, it's not going to lift back off as I spray on the water and then I thought I'd use some Christmas trees from my own stash some wood veneer Christmas trees and I'll show you another little thing that we could do I'm using the olive the green olive I'm just colouring in the tops of the trees and then coming back and using the uh, what was it called leaf green going down again not too fast if I don't fill in all of the wood not caring too much that it's bleeding into the other colour and then finishing off with the light green at the base and then what I'm going to do is again spray these with water and you can see how the ink has pulled a little um, and the trees are now fully coated with the ink just dab off the excess, excess water and then I just use glue dots for these wooden shapes and they're going to be a bit difficult because the wood's a bit damp they will stick <laughs> not to my fingernail ah oh, pedantic try another one they're not, not going to come off either there we go one oh, liking my skin more than it's liking the tree I'll do it the other way onto the paper and then onto the wood and then the other tree and go about there and there you have really quick effective Christmas tag and here's one I made earlier so you can see that it's very quick very easy and the uh, pit markers uh, make the job really easy and you know because the colors are all from the same uh, color group that they're going to match perfectly and just go so well with whatever project that you're doing okay thanks for watching and have a nice day